been fascinated with people who invent. Inventors and scientists, they're so cool because they have this ability to make something out of nothing and that's pretty extraordinary, right? But I think sometimes, and you know, I'm sure that is known to happen, you kind of set up in your mind and you're like, okay, I'm going to try and do this and accidentally you land up discovering this. This is like a compilation of some of the craziest things that we even use in our day-to-day -day life, which actually were invented for something completely different. <laughs> Listerine has been around for like 133 years and in these 133 years it's actually being used for a whole bunch of things other than what it is used for today. Bad breath. And they decided, oh this, this thing that we've invented, it's actually a surgical antiseptic. Didn't work. Then they thought maybe it could be used to cure gonorrhea. That didn't work out either. Then they thought, okay, maybe this can be used to cure the common cold. Eh. What about dandruff? Eh. And it was only in the 1920s that they realized that Listerine is that magical cure for bad breath. And other than bubble wrap being used to pass the time, as a lot of us <laughs> use it for nowadays, when they were inventing bubble wrap, they actually were trying to make wallpaper, textured wallpaper. That didn't really turn out to be too good. Then what they decided to do is try and use it as some kind of insulating product that would have a greenhouse effect. Partly worked for them, but didn't really happen. And that's when the inventor of bubble wrap decided to go to IBM and pitch it to them as something that would keep all their electronic products safe. And voila! That's how bubble wrap became actually bubble wrap. IBM loved the idea and they used tons and tons and tons of it to protect their 1,400 products that they had then. And that's how bubble wrap became a household name. The makers of Lysol, when they first invented it, they decided to use it and market it as something that women could use to clean their private parts. That clearly did not go down very well. I can't even imagine a woman trying to do that. Uh, caused a lot of burning irritation and a lot of women just going like, whoa, what the hell is that? Lysol got banned from the market. And that's when they turned around and they said, oh, wait a minute, maybe we could use it for something else to clean the floors as a disinfectant. That turned out to work well in their favor. It's like one of the biggest selling products in the market today. But imagine something that women were using to clean their private parts was actually meant to clean the floors. In earlier days, guns faced one of the biggest problems, which was the bullet getting stuck. That meant either of two things. A, you couldn't fire or the bullet would fire back at you. And that's when they invented something that is called as the gun worm. The gun worm was used to gorge the bullet out. Once they fixed this problem of the bullet getting stuck, they realized that the gun worm had kind of like become redundant. But Voila, they also realized that it can be used for a much better use in my world. It can also be used to uncork a bottle of wine. And that's how you got the corkscrew. Coca-Cola, that sweet, carbonated, aerated drink that a lot of people are addicted to. Not me, I don't drink aerated drinks. But the inventor of Coke was this guy that was called as John Pemberton. And he was a morphine addict. So what he was trying to do and invent was something that would be an alternative to his morphine addiction. Something that would still give him that little extra kick, but relieve him of his addiction, the hypertension and the headaches that followed with it. And that's how he landed up inventing Coca-Cola. He took this drink, infused it with cocoa leaves, and that would give him that little extra kick and punch. And it was many decades later that they came out with the more milder version, which still has that little caffeine kick in it that has that slight addictive quality. So that's it for today. That was my compilation of some of the craziest things that got invented but were actually invented for something else. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to have a whole bunch of things that you want to share with the tribe. Go on, leave it in the comment section below. Everybody would love to hear from you. Till then, like, comment and subscribe and welcome to the tribe. Ciao! They are all ruled by a single super fertile queen who lives twice as long as any of them. Ants are literally found everywhere except for the Antarctica. So if you're going to be brave enough and get onto a Bombay train during peak hours and this is your first time ever on the trains,